came into his hands, I think, was it three, four years ago? Three years ago. And this is it. It's just come off a lorry out of the workshop. Um, fantastic looking condition. Uh, they don't know this, that's the owner. Jo Joseph doesn't know this, but it's actually won best in show. Well, best in show for steam. So congratulations for that. Um, he made it. Uh, the judging was just done recently. Um, so this is the quality of what you can do for a restoration 12 hour days and probably beyond non-stop saturday sundays every hour god sends some late night six o'clock starts get home at 11 o'clock at night to get that engine here so congratulations for making it to the ring george <laughs> i didn't think you'd do it but um i'm glad it was later on in the day not this morning 
Um, so anyway, I've no doubt you'll see the engine when it uh, gets back to its Hey, lovely engine. Uh, they bought the engine, which is why it's got aluminium boiler bands around it. And the um, story goes that uh, they wouldn't, Marshall wouldn't release the engine until 1927. Uh, because the uh, marshal wouldn't release it because it was a show engine and they needed to use it for promotional materials. Um, it's a really lovely little, she's a lovely old girl, she's very, very original. Uh, there was a lot of work done in the 90s. It was talking 15,000, but what you had was four stumps in the ground and a lot of dust. So John never doesn't get fame for anything. He's a, he lives in Cornwall and uh, John died. And they took it out of the uh, yard, took it straight to the drain engine a number of years ago. I can't remember. 10 to 12 years ago. Uh, yeah. 14 years ago. Thank you, Richard. So, yeah, Richard um, bought the engine off John Tyke. And he's had it ever since. He lives in Ilminster now with this one. And we're very lucky to get the engine here because John Richard doesn't do very um, this engine, I do know a lot about this without looking at. This is uh, this was uh, sort of loosely constructed, well, David Page engine, we kind of call them. There's actually two, because John's son's behind him. And uh, basically these engines were built by order. And uh, bottom line is the engine never got... This engine is owned by Paul Platt from Saltash. It's a... Uh, um, Built by David Steele of Axminster, the model was started in 2017 and was actually completed brand new uh, in 2021. Obviously, for certain reasons, the engine's not been uh, been able to be displayed. So actually, this is its first season out at, uh, from from being built. So this is I've never seen this engine before. Uh, they're great fun. The gold medal tractors are designed to. They're quite a narrow engine. Uh, they are very very fast on the road. These are. In fact, one is a gold medal. So uh, he really, it's, it's got a great, fantastic background. Another engine just coming in. Uh, this is being driven by uh, David Nicholson and Matt. Uh, this is another engine owned by Joseph from Scotland. This is another engine. Um, this particular one, Joseph came up to me in the face of the show and he's looking for someone to read. Very unusual thing, but this is a beautiful engine. And uh, again, new to powder, and thank you very much for bringing it this year. Sorry about that. Uh, it's, yes, it's a, it's a Garrett 4 CD, I should really know that. Uh, and eight name counters, owned, owned by the Glidden family from, uh, from Club Collerton. And um, it was uh, new to GB Davies of Ludlow. Timber Hawley was with a large complement of engines during the 20s. It was used mainly for threshing. And um, it's basically the Glidden family have owned this engine since 2015. And it's a really nice bit of kit, that one. It really is. Tom, uh, this is um, this, this the Cumbria lady owned by uh, Robert Yelland. Robert's also a tractor man, so you was find him down with the tractor section. Uh, the only evening in port to have left the St. Nicholas Works to enter the rental market. Uh, so to say, Terry lives in Cornwall. He's got a fantastic collection of steam engines. And it's very kind he bought several here today. So I appreciate Terry coming along with that lot. Um, OK, we've got Chris Griffiths. He comes from Tring in Hertfordshire. Very, very nice plowing engine. It's quite a small plowing engine. I don't know a lot of great days. It is a lovely little plover. Produced in 1914. These engines usually come with left hand underneath the boil. And um, it's a great display. And one of the places that you can guarantee that you will see it is a great Dorset steam fair. They have a massive section of uh, plowing and it is amazing how much power these engines can create. Very, very unusual at Foster. Next behind that is Excelsior. This is owned by Nick Dicker. Um, Nick, again, has done enough of bug restoration over a number of years. Uh... Terry Sleeman of Waybridge was initially built as a tractor by Burroughs with th three quarters of the way through the build of seven and a half ton tractor. The order was cancelled, so it was changed to a rig. It was purchased by the Turner Brothers and converted into a showman's tractor. It's completely overhauled and renamed. It's now called the Yorkshireman. 
Um, again, it's another engine from the uh, Terry Sleeman um, unit down in Cornwall. George Bolton, Garrett. Um, George, he, he, he does work hard. But anyway, that, that engine was in bits all over his workshop yesterday afternoon. Coming in the same zone as uh, the Lord Nelson. And um, yeah, basically, he, he's, he's got it here. Thanks again, here, George. I know you did put a lot of work into this. It's really, really appreciated. Right, okay. Yeah, so we're basically, I think the last of the engines is just coming into position now. Uh, oh, we've got um, another uh, vehicle that's not steam driven. Just waiting for our... Let these people know that we're here. Cool, oh, blimey. That's quiet. Come on, chaps, let's get it going. Let's ride them on. try and um, get the engines out uh, bit by bit and um, hurry on with the day. Thank you very much. Oh, just